Hey everybody, Erica Serwin here from Pink Bucker Designs. I've got a brand new set of products to show you. These were just released this week from Stampin' Up! They are online exclusives and this is the Iconic Imagery Bundle. Um, it's a great set. It takes you through fall, Christmas, winter, Valentine's Day, and birthday. So um, this is a great beginner set if you were a beginner stamper. Obviously, I'm not a beginner stamper, but man, I love it. Lots of fun things. I've got a series of videos using this uh, bundle and the matching paper, so make sure you go back to uh, my blog to see all of those. Now, the, the matching paper is called Iconic Celebrations. It's a six by six pack. Again, you've got fall, Christmas, birthday, Valentine's Day, um, just it runs the whole gamut here. Um, and of course there is a plaid in here. Let's see, where did it go? Right here, I've got a project using that. Plaid is my favorite. Um, the dies will coordinate, they do coordinate with some of the images in the paper too, which is always fun. All right, let's, what we're gonna be, make, let me show you that first, is a pocket card. I have made a little pocket and I've used the uh, pocket or the uh, tab die, which I'll show you in a little while, to uh, make that little pull out part. Um, but everything else is from the Iconic Imagery Bundle. All right, let's do our stamping first. We're gonna do some two-step stamping, um, which means you use two different stamps for one image. I'm gonna start with Cajun Craze. That is the color there in that designer series paper. Now you can do the outline first or you can do the solid part first. I'm gonna do the outline image first and we need one, two, three. One, two, three. And then you're gonna take the solid image and you're gonna ink it, but you're gonna stamp off on your grid paper and then stamp right over it so you get a lighter color. Stamp off. There will be a complete supply list over on my blog for you. Um, has colors, measurements, all of that stuff. So make sure you check that out. Um, we're gonna use the, I guess it's like a little branch. And we're gonna actually stamp that in Memento Black. So one and two. And then I am doing the fill-in color using two different colors. So I've got Old Olive, which I'm gonna ink and stamp off. And then we just do that fill in right there. The fill in when you do it light like that keeps it from overshadowing the detailed image that you stamped first. Now Daffodil Delight is a light color, so I'm not gonna stamp off using Daffodil Delight. Make sure you color or you clean your fill in image first. All right, we're gonna stamp that right there. All right, now you're gonna use your dies coordinating dies to cut these out. Here is, well, I picked up all the paper at the same time. Here is the leaf that will cut these out, and here is the branch that will cut those out. So I have done that ahead of time. Now we're also gonna use this die right here. You actually have two of them, and we're gonna cut out two Cajun, Cajun Craze branches. Here's our, here are our three leaves. One, two, three, I cut out a bunch. And let's see if I can get those branches. We've got a yellow one and we've got a green one. Now also cut out a very vanilla heart. Um, the heart die is right here. Here is the tab die that I told you about. It's a standalone die comes by itself. It also comes as a punch if you prefer the punches. And you're gonna cut that out from pecan pie. Now you also wanna cut out a very vanilla label, which is this one right here. And we're gonna stamp the sentiment on pecan pie and cut it out with that little label. Let's go ahead and do our stamping for grateful. And I'm gonna do it kind of high like that so everything will fit down below it. And we're gonna emboss, we're gonna stamp the sentiment now these sentiments come in two different stamps. This is kind of um, a stamp that has different words that you can kind of create different sayings in. Um, we're gonna, like I said, we're gonna emboss it. So I'm gonna use my embossing buddy to uh, remove any static. And then I'm gonna take the four and I'm gonna use white craft ink. I'm gonna do it right there in the middle, four and you like that. Now get your white embossing powder. We have new embossing powder. It's really good. 
All right, and then take your heat tool and heat it up for just a minute. Okay, once it's nice and shiny, you know it's done. Give it just a second before you put it in your cut and emboss machine. It takes about, I don't know, just a couple seconds to kind of harden up. All right, now take your little label. It fits perfectly on there. Run that through like that. And now I think we're ready to put it all together. Let's get our pieces. You are gonna need a piece of Cajun Craze and your Cajun Craze uh, designer series paper. I don't know why I have that one, but that's cute too. We could use that. Um, your piece of Cajun Craze is four and a fourth by five and a half. That's the size of a envelope. So it'll fit in an envelope. Cut your designer series paper four by five and a fourth. Now this one is the exact same size, four by five and a fourth. And I'm just gonna take this part, this corner, and fold it over like that, okay? There's no measurements for that, just fold it over. It's, it'll, it'll be just fine if you do a little bit or a lot. Now, I'm gonna take my liquid glue and I'm gonna, because we're making a pocket, I'm just gonna do around the edges, okay? So try to stay real close to the edge. Like that. And then you're gonna line up those edges like that. Okay. Now I also like to take a dimensional and put it right under that corner. We're going to stick this label on top of it. So probably don't have to do that, but I like to do it. All right. We've got our, our label for you, grateful for you. And I'm going to start by putting this where I want it to go, which is about right there. And then I'm gonna, whoops, <laughs> my fingers are sticky. Then I'm gonna take my uh, liquid glue. I'm gonna start with my branches. And I'm gonna stick that one back there. And we'll stick this one coming down like that. And then we'll put, you know, if you've got these nails like me, you might need your take your pick tool to pick these things off, to pick them up, All right? Now the liquid glue is still wet, so it's, it's gonna move which is good because if we need to rearrange, we can kind of rearrange. All right, and we're gonna do another one. You just need a tiny, tiny dot. We'll do that one sticking out right there. Let's pull that green one out a little bit so we can, oh my goodness, so we can see it a little bit better and kind of arrange things like that. We don't wanna cover that word up too much and then get your little tiny uh, Cajun Craze branch. And we're gonna stick that one in there. And then we've got another leaf. And we'll stick that one over here. And one more little branch. And I'm gonna stick that one coming from there. All right, so now bring back your pocket and we're gonna get two dimensionals. Put them like that, okay. And then grab your linen thread and I like to do a double bow. If my thread isn't all tangled, let's see if we can get that out. It doesn't look complicated, but for some reason it may be in a knot. Oh goodness, don't you just hate it when that happens? I gotta take your pick tool, there we go. I like to take my linen thread and take two strands and tie them like that. Okay, snip and snip. Then grab your mini glue dots. And we're gonna put that right 
there on that side of that label. Now we've got this little card here that's gonna go on the end side and I'm gonna take my, um, I keep wanting to call it a label, but it's a tab. Take my tab, whoa, a lot of glue. And we're gonna put some glue on there. We'll slide this back like that and then stick that down like that. Our little vanilla, our little vanilla. Well, the glue is either all or nothing today. It either won't come out or it comes blazing out. Put that right there. Now I'm gonna take and stamp those leaves a couple of times down here as well to follow that pattern. Okay, and then I'm gonna get the fill in image stamp off. Stamp off, stamp off, and there you go. Now there's also this little confetti image, and I'm gonna do Cajun Craze around and stamp off before I stamp it and then stamp it again. So now we've got light and lighter, okay? And we can just do that all around the bottom like that. And there you go, we can slide that into our pocket and it's super cute. Now, sometimes depending on your glue job, you might have to, well, it looks like I do have to trim it. Sometimes if your glue comes out too far, you have to just trim that down a little bit <laughs> to get it to fit. Okay, there we go. All right, and there is your fun, let's get this messy paper out of here. There is your fun pocket card. There is a supply list over on my blog, free PDF, and two other iconic imagery projects for you. Let me know if you have questions. Happy stamping. Bye.